Hi, God bless you. Thank you for uh, being with me in this edition of Truths in Brief. And we are still dealing with the questions of Scripture. And there is this question, which I think is God's favorite question, because you see it all over the Bible, God asking the same question of several of his servants and people that worked closely with God. And the question is, what do you see? What do you see? God kept asking this question. He asked it of Jeremiah. He asked it of Amos. He asked it of Zechariah and several other people in scripture. What do you see? In Jeremiah chapter 1, Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Jeremiah, what do you see? I just picture my name in that verse of scripture saying, Ferdinand, what do you see? It's God's favorite question. And he kept on asking this question all over the Bible. What do you see? Then I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. And look what God said in verse 12. Then the Lord said to me, you have seen well. You have seen well. For I am watching my word. I'm watching over my word to perform it. I am ready to perform my word. In verse 13, the word of the Lord came to me the second time saying, what do you see? What do you see? Why does God ask this question of human beings? It's because what you see is crucial. When you look at your life, when you look at life in general, when you look at the future, when you look at your present situation, when you look at the environment, what you see is critical. When you look at your future, as you are look, when you close your eyes, what do you see? When you look at the world today, what do you see? When you look at money, what do you see? When you look at women on the street, what do you see? When you look at men, what do you see? When you look at the nations, what do you see? When you look at 7.8 billion people in the world today, most of whom do not know Jesus as their Lord and their Savior, I hear heaven saying, Ferdinand, what do you see? What do you see? You see, what you see is crucial. And that is why it is so important to see as God sees. So look what happened. When Jeremiah told God what he saw, God said, you have seen well. You have seen well. You see, it is only when we see as God sees that we have seen well. When uh, 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 Samuel went to the house of Jesse to anoint a king and he saw Eliab who was, you know, the firstborn he was tall, he was huge and muscular he looked like the logical next king to replace King Saul, but you know what God said to, uh, said to Samuel don't look at his stature don't look at his height because I have rejected him because the Lord does not see as human beings see Human beings look on the outward, but God looks at the heart. God looks at the heart. So when God said to Jeremiah, what do you see? Jerry said, I can see the rod of an almond tree. And that almond tree is very significant in scripture. It was the almond rod that budded. You remember uh, um, the rod of Aaron that budded when it was placed in the presence of God. And overnight, the rod grew almonds and blossomed and flowers. It was a fulfillment of the word of God. And so God said to Jeremiah, you have seen well. You have seen well when you see that the word of God will come to pass. When you see in faith, you are seeing well. When you see scripturally, you are seeing well. When you see as God says, you are seeing well. Do you know when you look at Goliath? What happens to you is dependent on how you see Goliath. I can imagine when David got to that battlefield, everybody saw Goliath as this terrible giant who was a threat to the people of God. But David saw him differently. David said, you come against me with sword and spear, but I'm coming against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, whose armies you have defied. Today, I will cut off your head. Today, 
God will give us victory. Today, people will know that there is a God in Israel and that he does not save by those kind of weapons that you have. David saw Goliath properly. As you look at the Goliaths that are confronting you, the obstacles, what do you see? Remember Caleb and Joshua? They went to the same promised land as spies that the other ten spies went to. But do you know, when they came back, they saw differently. They brought a different report. Those people said they saw giants and the land devours its inhabitants. But Joshua and Caleb said, we saw the giants there, but they are bread for us. Their defense has departed from them. Everything depends on how you see. What is God's vision for your life? Have you seen a heavenly vision? How do you see obstacles? Do you see them as obstacles or stepping stones? How do you see challenges? Do you see them as the end of your life? Or do you see them as bread for you to eat and to make progress in the purpose of God for your life? What do you see? As you look at your future, look at the way the world is. People, a lot of people see bleakness. They can't see any hope. They can't see any change. They can't see any improvement. But you, what do you see? I pray that you will see well. And you will see well when you know that God will fulfill his word in your life. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your truth. Lord, we pray that you will help us to see well. We pray that as we look at life, as we look at society, we will see as you see. We will see opportunities. We will see in faith. And we will trust you with whatever the future brings. Blessed be your name, Father, forever. We will see you high and lifted up, far above all principalities and powers. Oh, we will see Jesus seated at the right hand of the Father. Oh, the triumphant Christ that lives inside us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. Make sure you see well. And the way to do that is continue to cultivate the divine perspective and you will walk in victory. Bye-bye.